Guys, you're still watching JC Sacco and my one gospel show with the president. And Miriam Mathalba. All right. So I want to like introduce <laughs> Yes. Eh? Nisawa, Nisawa. All right, guys. We're still going on with our discussion today, talking about the greatest person in the Bible, that, the one that you look up to and why and why. And guys, I like what you're saying on our Facebook page. That is at 254 Instagram and Twitter, 254 channel, hashtag JC Sacco. And you get to be part of the discussion. Mm. Waziri wa wata, Watapeli, that is Facebook. Eh? <laughs> I consider King Solomon. Now, when you are up on a same King Solomon, King Solomon, King Solomon, we are going to be a Goliath. Anyway, anyway, so let's break down this topic and to make us understand us, understand it even further about greatness, about, about meeting great people and answering to the greatness is Pastor, Pastor Bob Wombua. Karibu sana, Pasi. How are you? I'm good, and you? Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. Thank you so much for your time and for joining us this day. Thank you. Yes. Karibu, sisi you would introduce, because I was like, not this Pastor Robert, no, no. Yeah. Pastor Bob. Bob. Yes, <laughs> to introduce us. <laughs> okay, mm. my name is Pastor Bob, but my real name is Robert Wambua. Ah. But I'm known as Bob. Mm. Ah, yes. Okay. So, <laughs> so, I'm not ready to Bob. I'm not ready to be Bob. I'm not Bob. You know, Pasi way too. Pasi, mm. oh, church can you? Okay, I'm mm. a youth pastor. Mm. Yes. Church, uh, Grace Dominion Chapel. Mm. Pale uh, Osops. Osops. Yeah, and uh, Apostle Jamlik. Mm. Yes. How is it pastoring a young generation? Yes. Eh? It's fun, uh -huh. but uh, piano hard. <laughs> hard in what way? What do you mean by hard? You know, you, know, you are dealing with uh, young men, mm. and they have different characters, they have different behaviors. So it's hard to deal with mm. different characters. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But mm. by the grace of God, Mm. One of the members, eh? handle mm. uh, worried not by your grace, seeing a handle your case. Ah, Sija Patana Nakayo Bado. This ministry, you know, young people have, you know, Ile confidence, yeah, they are right. With, they are in, always, in, yeah. uh, they're always right mm -hmm. in whatever thing they are doing. Mm -hmm. So, you know the right thing to do, but uh, mm -hmm. the right thing to do, but you know my you know, right. they believe they, they know, know everything. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they believe they know everything. I love when I could jangle. I know my rights. Uh, right, I know right. my rights. Yeah. Yes, you are raising rights. Is Ghana is going to constitution? Ghana, but they usually know their rights. Eh? Sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. how do you handle such? Mm -hmm. You know, we have uh, we have the word of God, which is our constitution. Mm. So sure. you just align them with the word. Ah, yeah. sure. Yeah. The Bible says yeah. this. correct and at the same time to rebuke. Uh -huh. wow. Now, so, oh, excuse mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, they, will, they have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have to. Mm. Yes. But it's good. You're a young mm. person as well, mm. dealing yeah. with the young ones. So, in a way, we would have connect now. Mm. Kabisa. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, All right. Mm. So, you mm. say my generation, I know my rights. Yeah. So, kuna generation ingine, who I believe in to go to God. But it's they yeah. wanna kujanga to church, yeah. Jumam na dalo mm. mesema wacha mm. to church. Yeah, they are there. Not mm. only they are not only in church. Mm. You know, I'm working with a school. I'm mm. also a physical health and education wow. instructor, yes. Yes. and you'll meet these uh, students or young people. Let's, let me call them mm. young people. Mm. They will approach you and they will tell you, "I don't believe in God." Wow. I don't totally believe in God. But yeah. have they heard about? They God? have heard about him. But why are they but not believing? They will convince you that science science turns out <laughs> <laughs> according to them. Mm. But you have to you have to be well acquainted with the scriptures mm. so that you can tell them science akuna mm. factiote. Yeah, so our constitution is the word of God yes. and it says this and this and that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Hey, we need a lot of grace mm. to handle these people. But mm. I know grace is there. Grace is there. Grace is sufficient. Is there. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Speaking about ministry, when yeah. did you join ministry and what pushed you to join ministry? Uh, Especially the youth ministry. ministry. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It started away twenty twelve. Yes. Generally get born again. Ah. And uh the way I got born again, it was a funny way. Mm -hmm. No one preached to me. Uh, no one convinced me to yeah. receive Christ as my personal savior. Mm -hmm. He just came. 
Mm. Really? Yeah. <laughs> How? <laughs> like you prayed on your own and you go born again? No. Hey. Uh -huh. uh, it was one night I was uh, sleeping and I just saw something at mm. night. Mm. And the next day, I had a voice telling me, go and tell your home pastor what you saw. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I didn't, have I didn't have peace until I went to see her. Mm. I told her everything, this water, this is, you know, it's details. Mm. So I yeah. just, yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and I told her now I've made a decision to receive Christ as my personal savior. Mm. And that's how I received him. Then this urge, yaku, yaku mm. connect na young people, mm. na because nilikuwa ni metoka pale, and I, kuna vinyi nilikuwa na behave. Mm. So I said, no one preached to me, but when Christ ali come to me, Seven at of Kiawale was Yeah. So passion can grow. When I went to campus, mission pale, one, two, three. And here we are today. So you did missions in your campus life? Yeah, yeah. How was but the experience as a missioner? Hmm? Why? Well, it's, hmm. uh, it's fun. Hmm. It's fun. Hmm. Because you move from one place to another. First thing, you could travel Kwanza. You could Kwanza for young people. Hmm. Yeah, then to preach to preach and to win souls mm. for Christ. That's our mission, mm. yeah. I'm sure That's in the process missions. of going for missions, you met different men of God, great yeah. men of God, and today we're talking about greatness, greatness yeah. and answering to greatness, right? Sure, yes, sure. maybe you can just break it down Kidogo too. Maybe greatness ni kuwa celeb, greatness ni kuwa famous. Greatness pengine ni kuwa na followers pale Instagram, mm. 4 million followers. Kuna wengine ya tawa kuna? Ni kuomoka. Ni kuomoka do. Ah, ama kuende shagari kubwa. Yeah. 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 You know, greatness, uh, to many people it means different things. Yeah, yeah. It's but a, uh, yes, but uh, according to now to the word of God, what mm. does greatness mean? Greatness is mm. very ambiguous word, mm. as you have said. Mm. And you know, greatness, it's, uh, you'll meet men who will impact your life. Mm. Men who will influence your life. Mm. So for me, the way I take it from the Bible perspective, mm. greatness, you meet this person and it changes your life. Mm. Because it carries something which you need to, yeah. mm -hmm. to change your life. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Nikama, he has, he carries something that is, when you meet him, he impacts your life differently. Yeah, he impacts your life. Ata kupea the goods, ata kupea job, uh -uh. Mm. but interacting with him mm. will change your life totally. Mm. Oh, yeah. Because kuna pale mtu, Bible ala sema, nani, Goliath ndo... Endo greatness, kuwa strong, eh? Yes, kuwa ke endo greatness. You know, when you're responding to greatness, uh, many people don't know how to approach it, mm. don't know True. how to invite it. Mm. You should invite it. Mm. They don't know there's how... There's invitations. Yeah, yeah. there's the way you invite greatness. You invite it's greatness. in the Bible. All right, I'll take prove us it through. to you. You know, it's <laughs> too much here. Yeah. Watch out to relax. Yeah. Yeah. There's the way you respond mm. to it. There's mm -hmm. the way you react to it. Mm -hmm. And if you fail to know how to invite it or how to react with it, mm. you'll end up losing many opportunities. Ouch. Let me mm. prove it to you. Please. When you go to the hey. Bible, mm. Proverbs 25. Mm -hmm. Let me read this scripture to you. Proverbs 25, verse 6 to 7. Mm. The Bible says, Be not forward, self-assertive, and boastful, ambitious, mm. in the presence of the king, and stand not in the place of great men. Verse 7, mm. For better it is that it should be said to you, Come up here, than that you should be put lower in the mm -hmm. presence of the prince whose eyes have seen you. Mm -hmm. Whose eyes have seen you. Actually, this, this verse is saying, when you go to those uh, meetings, when you go to church, when you go to those uh, um, big rallies, mm -hmm. don't just go and sit in front, uh, don't just go and take the front seats. Mm -hmm. Sababu, so, okay, take those front seats, maybe the, that great man mm -hmm. saw you, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, mtu, let's say the harsha comes mm. to pick you now mm. yeah. mm. hence the great man saw you that that's what the verse 7 says mm. Mm. see it's saying uh it's saying let me repeat the the last part of it whose eyes mm. have seen mm. you mm. so ulijinua before your time uh -huh. before your time uh -huh. you are supposed to wait mm. until the king invites you Mm -hmm. to the higher table mm -hmm. and uh, when you also read the bible you'll see the case of the sons of the prophets in the book of second kings uh, chapter 2 mm -hmm. they walked with elijah they knew he was a great uh, prophet but they failed to tap what was in elijah mm -hmm. 
they knew this man is great. Yeah. I'm yes. like tapping, yes. Mm. They knew this man was great. Yeah. And uh, uh, Elijah was the chariot of Israel and his horsemen. Mm. When Elijah was mm. a walking army. He was that great. Mm -hmm. But uh, the sons of the prophets, they didn't recognize the anointing which was working in Elijah. Casualty. Yeah, well, until Elijah came. Yeah. Yeah. Until Elijah came. Until yeah. Elijah came. Yeah. Until Elijah came and noticed this is a not a normal man. Mm. He's a different man. Mm. And you know what happened to Elijah mm -hmm. when uh, Elijah was ascending? Elijah alimpigana garment. Mm -hmm. Na Elijah, Elijah aku put on the garment of Elijah on his own garment. Alirarua so garment in, yake. Yeah, yeah. Because you cannot wear you are the garment of the of a great man mm. on yeah, top so of your man. garment. Mm. Yes. So karua yake kavaya. Akavaya great man. Mm -hmm. Yes. So many people, they, you have to understand how to answer mm. to greatness. Mm. You have to, uh, to know how to answer to greatness. And also when you read the book of Romans uh, 11, or not 11, uh, mm. Romans 1, 11, mm. you know, your establishment is proportional to who you have interacted with. Mm. Your establishment in this cosmos, mm. it is direct proportional to on the hand which has... Uh, handled your cases. Yes. Wow. Yeah. You're talking about honoring mm. greatness, yeah. honoring invite, greatness. In, inviting greatness in your life. Do not take men. Mm. Uh, in fact, we should say to any man mm. casually, yeah, yeah. as if ni boys are money best. I call. I don't know. 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 I that greatness, yeah. the grace they carry, they leaves it unto you. Yes. There's a way you honor this man of God. Mm. You just don't take him casually. Yeah. Yes, that is answering to greatness. Yeah, you, know, you wanted to add something, yes, Pastor? You know, uh, it's like when a great man is talking, mm. you cannot interrupt the, the, the you cannot yes. interrupt the conversation. Mm. You should be silent. You should wait because you cannot frustrate a greatness which is about to catapult your life to mm. another level. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you should be silent. You cannot frustrate uh -huh. yeah. such grace mm. when it's ministering mm. to you. Unaona, unaenda mahali ana unapata. Let's say, for example, DJ Nix. Mm. Uh, these DJs mm. when you wanna inspire kuwa kama wewe. Yes. Yeah. And when they meet you, mm. when you are telling them this is how you do things, mm. this is how you do things, this is how you do events. Yeah. Another kusema, oh, yesterday I did an event. Oh. This guy is holding an event of a thousand people. Mm. Now when I old event, you have fifty people, mm. and he is testifying to you, you and to interrupt him the, co uh, with the, the with conversation. With an event of fifty people. Of people. <laughs> okay, I, I get it. Point. Yeah. Hey, you you will miss it. Mm. You will miss it. Your grace. Yeah, you will miss it. Because it's not a kwambi to make it a difference even for yeah. you to grow in whatever you're yeah. doing. Yeah. Ni kama tu bili apa nani maha tamere share meeting Pastor Sam Kat. Aka, 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 from what I got, I receive your grace, your prayer. Aka humble chini. Aka humble, jama na pray. You know what I'm preach? Mm. And I preach you because mm. I receive your grace. Na aka ji humble mwenyewe, aka invite your grace and the greatness now in him. Yeah. It's yes. just a matter of time. Yeah. And that is how you respond and answer to greatness. Yes. Let us stop, let us stop taking things lightly, taking men of God lightly. Whether he's a man of God or whether he's, he's not a man of God, mm. as long as he's just born again or in whatever capacity you are in, whether it's your principal, amani teacher wako, mm. amani nani wako, whether it's your boss, there's a way you just invite that greatness in in your life. Yes. And you know that it, it will impact in your life. There's something that you will get from them. What I'm trying to say that is there's something that you will get from that person that you're looking up to. Ata kami yule David or Bible. A man after my own heart. Mm. We end up research David Alifanya Nini do Akasema God a man God yeah. Akasema we a man after my own heart. Yeah. Uh, Pastor um, Bob, yes, you yes. you wanted to share something because yeah. you'll be you'll be sharing with the, with us the word of God later on, yes? Okay. Mm. Uh when you read the mm. when you read the book of Proverbs mm. eighteen sixteen, mm. this is how you respond, how you sharpen yourself so that you can attract the greatness. Mm. When you read that uh, verse, mm. uh, 18, uh, 16 Proverbs, mm. the Bible says, a man's gift makes room for him and brings him before 
great man. Mm. A man's gift. Yes, gift. Yeah, so you are supposed to sharpen your gift. Mm. Mm. You have to, to sharpen your skills. Mm. You have to equip yourself. You have to package yourself well mm. so that you can attract greatness. Mm. Because these people, they will not come looking for you. Mm. Yes. You must have something to present. Mm. Mm -hmm. You must have something to present to them mm. so that they can invite you. Yes. Yeah, so the, the same goes to the, when you read the book of uh, First Timothy mm. 2.15, mm. mm. the Bible says uh, you, you should you should work out on yourself. Mm. Be diligent mm. to be approved to God. Mm. Yeah, wow. so that you not be that a shameful servant. Yes. Yeah. All yes. right. <laughs> Humility, uh -huh. diligence, uh -huh. sensitive. Uh huh. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah. All right, but those are the things that invite uh, yes, greatness in your sure. life. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, Nick. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm, I'm just yeah. uh, amazed by how mm. he's dissecting the, the whole yeah. of greatness. Yeah, now, amazing. No, it's not about seeing greatness, mm. but how you, you respond to you it. Respond to it. Mm. And after you receive it, how what you do with it, you yes. get to see it mm. after you get it, or rather, if you want to get it, this is the perception you should be having, having about mm. greatness. See, we give a request, I'm on a tap into greatness and you don't know even how to behave when you're in that greatness. Mm. Amazing. But I, yeah. guys, I hope you've learned something. Mm. The beginning today, you, you know how to carry yourself mm. when you're around the great people and great men of God. Yeah. You'll just know how to handle yourself and be sensitive. Guys, let's be sensitive. Let's not take things casually. Mm. I have learned this the hard way. That's why this topic is so personal to me. I've mm. learned this the hard way, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Pastor Bob, if yes. guys want to interact with you and push on this matter and this discussion further with you, how can they reach you? Uh, social media. <laughs> Anywhere. Hata kama ni namba simu unaweza pia. Okay. <laughs> Pale Facebook mm. niko Bob Roberts. All right. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Instagram ziko up but hizo ni za biashara. Yeah, but namba ya simu ni 0714 737359. Guys, yeah. reach out to Pastor Bob mm. and interact with him. Uh, you'll be he's a blessing. Yani ame to bless sana hapa. It I've learned so much and also you I hope you've learned so much as well. Any shoutouts Pastor? Salam to Natumanga Salam. Manga Salam. Manga Salam. My wife she's here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's her name? Manuela, Nixon. Manuela mm. Akisa. Mm. Actually, DJ Nix, yes. she uh, first season of Fame Awards. Yes. She was the first runners up. Oh, artist, uh, amazing. <laughs> hey, congrats. Big shout out. Yes, big yeah. shout out. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Then my youth, Wate, Pale Grace Dominion Chapel, and mm. also my pastor, Pastor Jamlik. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, and you know, Kuna Kitwa Mesema about. Um, him because my Instagram be Ashara and also introduce himself as a physical. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. you can tell us maybe what else can people tap in Rojo what one is a kuja and hakuski about greatness and hakuwa mm. maybe maybe you you have something else okay. that you do. I sell sports equipment ah. to Nido Sports Premium mm. ah. at Kopale Town, mm. at Taveta Road, mm. Taveta Court Room 220. Ah. Yeah. Ah. So, so you can use sports sports. Exercise. For me, I'm going to play football. Come on, we. This guy right here. Yeah, so I'm saying we talk about football. Yeah. Rugby is my, is my name. What do you mean? Yeah, rugby is your name. When you talk rugby, yeah, anyway, I give up on you. Mm. So <laughs> reach out to him and be a blessing to yeah. to Pastor mm. Bob. Thank you so much, Pastor Bob. I know you're coming to share with, mm. with us the word mm. of God. Yes. So Nick, the president, would have to wake up Ziki Pali just to usher us into right. inspiration via.